Hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll be able to see there, there's been quite a big rebound in the markets overnight. That's on the back of better than expected results from Intel and Yahoo, which has a 24% stake in Alibaba, which completely smashed it yesterday as well. Um, and the fact that we also had some quite um, positive figures from China as well, much better than what was expected, especially considering the last um, pieces of news that we've had at that area. Anyway, look at this huge mass rebound in the last three sessions. Huge turnaround yesterday. We were massively negative. Uh, huge candle. Uh, again, today we we're capped by a 21 period SMA, but all of a sudden 16401 come out of nowhere, and that's the next potential resistance to have a look at. So, if we have then a look at the UK 100, uh, a very similar picture. Look at this candle. The volatility is absolutely incredible. This was a late night turnaround. Uh, as you can see there, it just went and just kept on going. So, what we've actually seen there. As a move there to 65 above 6581, which is the potential um, support now acting as uh, potential resistance now acting as support. Next potential resistance will be at 6666. So, fast forwarding on to uh, Japan 55 right there, as you'll be able to see, it's had a similar kind of springboard effect. Um, very positive candle yesterday, but a much more bullish candle again today. And uh, that is in the back of dollar yen shooting up in the right direction as well. So it actually uh, is trading above 102 spot 20 right now, uh, obviously increasing the competitiveness of the Japanese market there. If the dollar yen is shooting up, means dollar is getting stronger and Japanese yen is weaker. Um, so we're above potential uh, resistance at 14219. Next potential resistance is at 14977. If we actually have a look at that dollar yen position right now, um, and it's not it's not exactly a huge massive rally but it's it's breaking higher anyway you can see the last couple of days we had these uh, long legged candles right here this is showing a little bit more bullish momentum with intent this morning potential support at 101 spot 80 potential resistance at 102 spot 87 do we have to get above this 55 period sma before we can do anything more meaningful if we have a look at crude oil west texas there um <clears throat> it's really struggling to break higher here, and we're trading between two ranges, potential support at 103, potential resistance at 105. Two tips of these candles right here are indicative of resistance. This uh, candlestick right here is indicative of support. So we're slap by end of the range, but grinding higher with West Texas crude. So if we then have a look at gold, gold got smashed yesterday. Um, I've been reading this morning that a whole bunch of uh, algo stop orders in the underlying market was set. Momentum traders uh, just got carried out as this sold off, broke below the 200 period moving average and sold off aggressively. It returned above the potential support at 12.95, uh, but are struggling to stay above there right now. If we do get in a rebound higher, potential resistance at 13.32, otherwise we've got to look again at 12.67 as potential support. So, finishing up with the euro dollar, euro dollar is going higher slightly. Hammer formation here, bouncing off that 21 period SMA. Potential resistance at 3863. That's not really that exciting to me. But if I have a look at GBP USD, there's a lot more GBP news out today, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, we had a nice hammer formation there uh, yesterday. Um, and we are actually re challenging potential resistance at the 67.44. But really, it's a rechallenge of 68.20, which is the next potential resistance that most traders would be more interested to see. So, economic data wise, I mentioned that the Chinese data came out a bit better than expected. Uh, well, one of them has, anyway, uh, the GDP. But I think a lot of people, based on the previous figures, were fearful that it was going to be worse than expected. So, UK wise, GBP USD, UK 100, and Euro dollar and Germany 30. Uh, traders keep an eye on employment data from UK at 9:30 a.m. UK time. Then you do have CPI data from the eurozone, and then later on, if you're a crude oil trader, and there's a lot of cool stuff happening in crude oil right now. You do have the oil inventories right now. Obviously, with the Ukraine crisis, as that if that escalates, and these petroleum stats come out worse than expected, uh, there could be some decent moves. Uh, conversely, if things calm down and petroleum uh, as much, uh, the inventory is much higher than expected. You could also get some big moves as well. So keep an eye on the chart for a minute. Lots of cool stuff coming here from our new UK analyst. Uh, and make sure you make insights part of your trading day so you can be informed of what's moving the markets when it's happening live on the platform. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.